I am from Egypt. I am 8 years old. I love drawing and swimming. I started learning the robotics programming since a few months ago. I am participated in a local competition. I am participated in Cospace GP under 12 competition. The problems that I investigated one shortcut route without any color markers. I had a problem is keeping this shortcut, but I noticed that the that when I adjust the speed, the robot paced it easily. Two. One of my biggest problems was how to go around the circle route to cross the shortcut to solve this problem i changed the wheel speed a lot the result is the robot become able to turn to the circle route three i found another pr problem with the many gray squares which have the same color with, with some di difference between them. I use the time color IR sensor to control the turns. The result was the robot be able to pass all the squares. After controlling all the problems, I noticed, noticed that the robot reached the end line in a correct way and at a good time. My challenge task analysis. The challenge mission. At the beginning, I have reviewed the map looking for the waypoint and choose the short route to pass from. Route gap. I program the robot to follow the white line to avoid any falling in any gap, avoiding obstacles. If any obstacles appeared in front of the robot, the robot will use the ultrasonic sensor to turn right and avoid it. As in the picture, we need to turn 90 degrees to avoid the wall and follow the white line. The challenge mission line following the robot moved forward the following the white line using the IR sensor. Robot speed over the wall map. I control the wheel speed to finish the map in a good time. Shortcut to finish the game successfully. I have to use the short route so I program the color sensor to use any colored marker to turn left or right, change the direction of movement completely. I use the method to help the robot to save the time. Let's watch the game together. The robot moved forward. There is obstacles. The robot turned left using the, the ultrasonic sensor. There is a shortcut. The robot used the color marker to turn right. There is a shortcut. The robot turned right. There is a 
colored marker and uh, obstacles, the robot turned using the colored marker and the ultrasonic sensor. The robot turned left, right using the gray square. There is a short, another shortcut, but without any colored marker. Now the robot will turn a, a big turn because the I use the color marker to turn. Now the robot turn left. Now the robot is moving forward following the what line. Now the robot is still moving forward. Almost there. The game is done. The challenge task can be broken down into many tasks. I divide the map into three parts to make it easier for me to find any mistakes. AI algorithms to pass any shortcut. I use the color sensor RGB to detect any color marker and help the robot to turn left or turn right depending on the case to avoid any walls or obstacles I use ultrasonic sensor to help the robot to turn left or turn right depending on the map. Tools and resources IR sensor, color sensor, RGB, ultrasonic sensor, time, duration, wheel speed. The advantage of using the tools and resources ultrasonic sensor avoiding walls and obstacles IR sensor line following color sensor take the shortcut duration and time help in turns blue shots help me to write my program debugging after I finish the planning and coding the robot become perform better but there is one case I have to make the the long black root I need it to add new statement I use IR sensor to help the robot to move forward following the white line. Conclusion. Finally, my robot reached the end point in 56 seconds. At the first, I used a different way to solve the task. I used the long way to avoid the circle route, but it took long time to finish the map 69 seconds here I tried to talk the shortcut the circle route it is take less time to finish the map 56 seconds learning experience I learned a lot about robotics, how I can control the IR sensor, color sensor, and ultrasonic sensor. I learned how I can program the robot and control the time and duration so it can so it can move or turn easily and do its mission. I learned how to draw a flow chart which helped me in the coding. Thank you for listening.